Hello, it's me again. Today I'm going to show you my DVD collection, but it's going to be very different from the usual. Today I'm just going to show you my particular DVD collection. It's the Matrix on DVD, the early DVD version. But I'm not going to show you the DVD per se, but the features inside the DVD package. So today it's going to be like um, the Matrix DVD walkthrough. So I'm going to pop the Matrix DVD in uh, the DVD drive and I'm going to show you what's um, the interesting features of the DVD and the, you know, the features for DVD-ROM because back in the day um, it was very usual for DVD manufacturers and studios to give you um, lots and lots of special features um, as the for the DVD as the DVD-ROM. So you cannot open these um, features um, through a standalone DVD player or a Blu-ray player, but you can only open it on uh, on a computer with DVD drive. So today, this is uh, the Matrix DVD walkthrough. I'm going to pop the disc in the um, DVD drive and I'm going to, you know, take a look at um, the features of the the Matrix DVD-ROM. Is there any quirks? Is, is there any interesting features of, of the movie? You know, what uh, the DVD can offer. Um, so let's just um, start uh, now. Okay, now, so I'm going to pop the disc inside the DVD drive. Here we go. Now we'll have to wait uh, for the disc to load. Um, just wait for the no notification, that's it, it pops out, click the notification and select play DVD with Interactual Player, but you have to notify that um, you have to install the Interactual Player before you can enjoy this. Now, let's try to maximize, but no, the picture is very small. Uh, so, there are two um, selections you can select to play the movie with the blue pill and the red pill is the actual DVD-ROM and web features that we're going to check today. So, select that and and this is, what's, this is what happens if we select the red pill. You take the blue pill, the story ends, you wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Okay, now let's try to maximize once again. But no, the picture is still small. So now let's just take a look at what's um, inside the DVD-ROM, what the DVD-ROM can actually offer. Um, Special DVD web events, are you really the one? Um, essays inspired by the metrics, um, screenplay and storyboard, and the last one is a theatrical website. So let's try to check the first one. It um, takes a little bit moment. Um, there you go. Let's try to maximize, but the picture is still small. To so go back. Um, no, this is um, the web link and these are the features let's try to go back and maximize again but the picture is so small so are you really the one this is actually um a game but i'm afraid that we cannot enter because we need pc friendly and these um uh, this computer um refused to install pc friendly i don't know I tried that in Windows 7 once back a long time ago and it plays but in Windows 8 and 10 it won't play. So let's just try to uh, find other interesting features. Um, this one maybe um, everybody loves Kung Fu, Infinity and Beyond. So many um, um, features here actually. Maximizing the metrics, popular metaphysics. Um, try to open the first one is um, everybody loves kung fu fighting. So information, information, uh, lots of readings. But actually, here you can scroll down and read the passage with uh, you know interesting photographs also from the movie. That's Trinity over there. 
let's scroll down 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 uh, they're actually very uh, you know very interesting scroll up again and back and let's select um, from script to screen also um, texts quite long text if you're true matrix fans this might be very interesting because you can find lots of information here actually uh, it's from 1999 okay now infinity and beyond um, a long time ago again this also passage so these are essays actually um, very very interesting and the next one is um, take a look at that um, hmm. Oh no, it has to open the web and it's inaccessible now actually. So let's try the next one. Uh, again, no, we cannot uh, reach the web. Maximizing the matrix, this is... Um, from 1999 from Newsweek very old that's um, 20 years ago oh my god with 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 uh, with amazing pictures photographs this is very very interesting and move next um, popular metaphysics this is um, an article from time from 1999 I, I can't believe that this is 20 years old this year but with passage, interesting passage, and with um, this interesting uh, table. So if you're a true fan of the Matrix, it's very, very helpful, I guess. Now let's just go back, um, take a look at uh, different features. Program reality. So screenplay and storyboards, and let's try to open that. Wait, and wait, and wait. It takes time loading from the disk the data from the disk hmm very interesting actually very very interesting what have we here hmm okay interesting so um, we have this kind of um, script over here and take a look at that oh this is to enlarge the picture very interesting um, We can try to save this, maybe. Maybe we can save this to our computer. Yes, we can do that. Um, just like a, a normal, if we want to save any pictures, just like that. We can save these pictures and... Um, it's automatically saved in uh, my pictures. But we're going to check the pictures later. Let's uh, go back to the um, DVD-ROM features and try to find more interesting pictures if there are any. This is also quite interesting. The matrix um, and large. Uh, it's it's very pixelated, not very sharp. Let's close this. The previous one only two pictures in this section. I guess there's no more pictures. Only these two. Um, view still there's nothing um, there's nothing happen if we click that um, play chapter no let's just maybe find next chapters is there any next chapters here what is this let's try to open this one um, again very interesting that's a picture of the Trinity um, uh, let's try to enlarge what is this um, close it um, next um, quite interesting it's like a comic book it's like a, um, a fragment of a comic book there you go um, let's try to find another pictures no no yes it's, it started to get interesting more interesting try to enlarge this one okay maybe um, close it and try to find next one interesting let's enlarge this picture so I think this is uh, parts of um, of a comic 
Let's try. Again, it's very interesting. If you're a true Matrix fan, this is going to be very, very interesting. Very interesting. Try to save this. Maybe we can... Yeah, save the picture as... Um, but you have to change the GIF as um, JPEG, maybe. Save it. Yeah, let's close this panel. And try to open the... Um, the picture there you go click it and it, it, it opens the resolution is not really high but it's clear um, you can see the picture you can enlarge the picture and let's try to find um, something else something interesting uh, next is wow interesting so this is kind of the continuation from the previous pictures very nice Nice. It's, it's like you're having this comic book inside this very, very small window um, and the text on the right. Very interesting. So this is a um, um, screen from the movie. So again, if you want to play that, um, this intellectual player won't recognize this in Windows 10. Let's try the next chapter. Um, no storyboards available. So maybe the previous one was, it was from storyboard, but you know, storyboards looks like um, comic books. So, but there's no pictures here. Let's go to the next chapter. Um, we have, again, there's no storyboard, so let's just move to the next one that actually has uh, storyboards, interesting storyboards. Now, what is this? This looks very interesting. Okay, so this is about Morpheus. Morpheus, you can see the picture of Lawrence over there. Let's try to enlarge the picture. Maybe we can try to save the picture. Save it, yeah, save the picture. It's JPEG already, so we don't have to change that. And let's close it and open my documents to see there. There it is. And we can enlarge the picture again. The resolution is really low actually, but you can enlarge and you can still see uh, the details. Next, um, close ups. Next, um, so these are in color. And very interesting, actually. The previous ones, they're all black and white. Maybe the different different artists making different storyboards. That's my guess. But this is getting more interesting. This is this is really good, actually. Really good pictures. Um, and and very interesting. I countlessly say interesting because it is really interesting. Let's enlarge. Take a look at that. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. Next next click next we there are many beautiful paintings here great great is it, it really getting more and more interesting okay it's it, it back to the first one so move to the next chapter mm, let's see Yeah, this is the next chapter. I think it's from different artists, maybe. That's the text. You can read the text. Um, let's take a look at next picture. But take a look at this one. Quite interesting. Maybe I'm going to save this one. Save this picture to my computer. It's JPEG already. Let's try to um, open it in my pictures. Uh, where is it? There you go. Open. And the resolution is is uh, low, but we can enlarge and see the details there. Because I think it was created in the day of the CRT um, computers, you know. So the resolution back then was it, it, it was not really bad at the time. But today, if you use um, LCD or LED like this, it's uh, the picture resolution. The count of the resolution is actually uh, low, very low. And it was designed to be presented in this small um, window like this, not in a full screen window like what we normally find today. 
but but it's still uh, you can still read the text it's not like unreadable or unwatchable you can still read the text clearly and maybe if you zoom the um, um, the screen it's going to be bigger do you know Kung Fu oh this is uh, this is very interesting choose a scene from below can we choose this scene really because last time we tried oh uh, no the error message again this <laughs> this is disturbing actually this kind of uh, this is really bothering me the error message and it takes time oh it stops pl working it, it 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 comes back now we cannot play with this so it, let's just move to the next uh, feature the original website what is it I hope this is going to be interesting and there are three selections um, the original website as 99 current website let's try to the original website because we do not need internet connection because the website is saved and hosted inside the disk screensaver we have screensaver and interviews we have trailers online we have cast and crew information um, the photo gallery some more photographs very interesting that's comic book visual effects behind the scene so very interesting features here let's, the first one is consider let's try that hmm we wait um, this is not really fast because the disk is still loading the computer we, we have to wait the computer to that's it um, Windows 95 98 click here to install no it's an error message again we, we need to have PC friendly but I cannot install PC friendly here um, so let's just abandon this and back it's loading again loading and that's that's we cannot do that so we move to interviews let's try to see what's in the interview section um, so there are the list of people the crews and actors uh, of the matrix try to open um, this one Trinity it's not a video but it's um, this um, text of you know interview so you can see that uh, with Carrie Ann Moss and this from the um, the crew and they're all from the crew only from uh, Carrie Ann Moss is the only actor who uh, who is featured in this uh, interview section but but this again very interesting and very informative let's go back no not this one um, go back again again and loading again to the main um, page of the web page there we go this is the comic book um, this is the photo gallery let's open comic book first hmm we wait yeah this is it the comic book news so uh, this is kind of chronological order with that this is very interesting and informative um, with that amazing uh, pictures very very informative if you really want to know more about the matrix i suggest i recommend you to to purchase the this disc and open this because this this is very very informative and this is one of few dvd that has um take a look at that long live the web you know remember back in the day dial up uh, internet connection and all the news this is also chronological order very informative what is this Zion archive okay let's try this um, search its files uh, files again but you know from the news and all hmm I'm not going to read all of these not now it's just how to close this one let's try to close it okay and open it again because there are two selections what is that the trials but this is the same 
the exact same style, but maybe different text. I'm going to check that later. What is this? Morning Sickness. This is... Oh, this is a comic book, actually. A comic. Mm. Oh, very interesting. Hit next. Yeah. This is a comic. Very interesting. So, before the day that you download comic from the internet or streaming comic books, they provide this kind of comic inside the disc, the DVD. So, that's very neat, actually. Very, very interesting. And they really put some effort in making the DVD. That's, that's, that's mind-blowing to me. I'm sorry, as, 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 a, as a person who loves these kind of things, it's very, 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 very interesting. Now, what's next? Let's let's try. Uh, oh, it's, these are the list of comics. So the next one. This is also a comic it's called Deja Vu. Oh, so this may be from the uh, different storyboard artists or, or someone. I don't know. Yeah, this is really a comic. That's very sensual. Okay. I might going to read that later. Let's try the it's next the next one. Let's see. Mm. Oh, this is not comic. This is kind of system freeze. Is this kind of a short story? Maybe this is a short story. I don't know. I need to read this, but not now. But I I, I my my guess is that this is a short story. So these are all um, stories concerning the Matrix. There are comic books and short stories. And we are back to the um, comic books again. Um, but these are not very, very long comic books, only you know, a few pages. You know, maybe expanding the understanding of the Matrix and all. In different styles, I like that, because maybe different artists made that. Let's move to the next one. What is this? This is um, a, a comic again. Very interesting. Um, the detail is great, you know. Let's try. Uh, yeah, the detail is, is, is great. I like this more than the previous one, actually. It's very good, actually. Really good. Now, move to the next one. There, a comic book, farewell performance. What, the last performance or something? I, I, I think so. I haven't read all of these. None. I haven't read any of them. I might, I might want to read these later, after this video. What is that? The next one is... Which one? I forgot. There? Oh! But this is by Neil... By Neil Gaiman. What is this? A short story? Well, this is very interesting. This is very interesting. Okay, let's try uh, the next one. Oh, that's the end. So, let's try to go back to the original website to move to the next uh, feature because, you know, it's going to take a lot of time if we, if we browse each and every one of the feature here. This is um, still gallery. Hmm, still images. Okay. This is uh, the first um, screen, the second, you know, second page. And there are three pages here. So this is the second page. And then let's try to go back to the first one and take a look at this picture, for example. Yeah, enlarge this. This is very small, but um, maybe we can save this to the computer, like the previous one. Just save it. It's jpeg already so just save it and open it in my picture there open it and we can enlarge uh, the picture zoom the picture um, the resolution is not really great but you can still see the details over there not 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 really disappointing actually so let's try to you know close this and move to the next one this is also interesting and we can save all of this, you know. This is interesting, and let's try to save this in enlarge the picture. Save it. Um, let's try to open with photo viewer and enlarge this. 
again the resolution all of them the resolution are very low but we can enlarge them and take a look at the details very very interesting what about this one this is agent smith okay and this one is uh, Karen Moss 20. Well, many DVDs, they have this also, you know, interesting pictures like this, trying to save this one. But they require the DVD player for us to see and they do not allow us to save the pictures like that. See, we can enlarge the picture and really um, save the, the master of the picture, not just screenshots. Because with DVDs, if the DVDs do not um, allow you to open features like this, you can only open it on, on the computer and then uh, take the screenshot out of it. But this, you can actually um, save the pictures, individual pictures. You do not have to, you know, um, take screenshots or anything. These are very interesting photographs, you know. Looks old now, looks very vintage, but it was at the time very, very futuristic. Okay, that's interesting, and let's let's just browse to the, you know, to the pictures here. That's Morpheus jumping to the helicopter. That's Neo. That's quite interesting. Let's try to save this picture. Okay, save it. And what about this one? The car under the rain. Okay, let's open the previous picture and enlarge this okay again it's pixelated but we can still see the details okay let's go back to this and this is the last page so let's go back to the um the the web page the original web page as of 99 so this is um, the page as of 99, there's no updates, this is before there are any updates. This is the cast and crew and the trailers, let's try cast and crew. Because I guess the trailer, we need the internet connection for that and um, it refused to open because it's no longer exists, I don't know. So this is the list of the cast and crew, let's try to open this. Um, this is Lawrence Fisburne with, with pictures, that's very interesting with pictures and all. And, um, but this is Keanu Reeves, but this is actually faster than if you pop the disc with, um, in the DVD player and you open the Carlson crew with, uh, you know, with, with the, with the DVD player, with the television. This is, this is more fun. Let's try to save that picture. I think very interesting, but we cannot save that. So, so we cannot save the pictures inside the frame inside the initial frame that we want to save but that's okay let's try to find many other amazing stuff um, so let's just go back because there's you know there's cast and crew and you're going to take lots of time if you want to browse all of them so go back to the website now um, Nothing there, nothing there. This is behind the scenes and visual effects. Um, trailers. Uh, it's going to take, you know, internet connection. I have the internet connection, but, but the actual web page is no longer there. So just try to open the visual effects. Um, wow, this is very interesting. Looks very 2000s. But very interesting. So there are um, these parts. Try to click this one. Ow, oh, this is pictures. More pictures. Okay, amazing. We can we can save these pictures. You know, this is quite amazing. Now let's try to well bullet time walkthrough. What is this? Oh the this is the behind the scene of that, you know, and the explanation. So instead of videos, it gives you pictures and information. This is, again, very interesting picture of how it, it, it all made. Let's go back, go back, and what else that we can find in this part? Hmm. Now let's try behind the scenes. 
What's in there? Um, warning. There's a warning over here. Photo from the set and all. Let's try to take a look at this one. Uh, more photographs. It's very abundant of... This is stuffed with uh, this kind of photographs. That we can... Again, we can save these pictures to our computer and enlarge this later. What is that? This is kind of interesting. Let's just let's just save this particular picture. And it's JPEG already, not GIF like the first one. And again, very interesting. The picture. I have to remind you that the resolution is very low, but if you enlarge it. You can still find the details over there. Now let's close this one and take a look at other features. Serve the internet. We need internet connection and current stuff and it's not there anymore. So let's just move to the Zion archive. Hmm. I think it's going to be you know, just... See? This is what I'm talking about. This, there's no... It's it's not there anymore. The page it's not there anymore. So they they didn't save the the page like the first one because it's supposed to be the updated version of the previous web page. But they stopped um, um, you know uh, making that. So we go back to the you take the blue pill. to the first the story ends. gate. You wake up in your bed and believe. Let's click the red pill and we wait again. Follow the white ribbon and all. They they really tried hard to make this experience like you were experiencing the Matrix, like Neo in the Matrix. So these are very, very, um, you know, very interesting, very quirky. You, you cannot find this in, in new um, movies anymore, in new DVDs, in new Blu-rays. They, they do not make things like this anymore. And um, I just love this. I just love this so much. Take a look at that. I hope they, you know, what is this? Chat. Oh. Chat room with other internet users. So oh. that's going to be fine and fun if the page is still there, but it's no longer there. This too is no longer there. This too is no longer there. Maybe if, you know, even back then, you know, when I, even the technical support is not working. Okay. But even back then, when I was able to install the PC friendly uh, on my Windows 7 computer, um, still the site can't be reached. It was maybe in 2015, and at that time, the, the website was, you know, you wake Gone up in your already. bed and believe whatever you, you want. Today, pill. it's, you know, you stay just, in you just can check the, you uh, how deep the, rabbit hole the website. Goes. Now, try to play the movie. And the error message com comes in again. So, the interactual players, you know, actually cannot play um, the movies anymore. So, if you want to play movies, the DVDs, just use the regular, the VLC media player or the... Um, the media player classic or maybe power dvd but not its actual player so it's like it's a dvd it's a it's a dvd player software that cannot play dvd so i i just install this for the sake of the dvd rom features because um the dvd rom won't work uh with any other um software other than um the interactual players yeah, okay, so um, a little bit of history for you guys. Um, when DVD came out, Interactual and PC friendly, they're really um, uh, manufacturers really pushing them uh, to the customers. Even Disney had um, this on their um, discs. Maybe I would like to present to you the, um, this kind of uh, DVD ROM from Disney later after this. Um, but a little bit of history back in the day of the DVD when when um, what uh, Planet of the Apes um, claimed as the day when DVD rules the planet, um, lots of people actually hate the interactual players and all. They claim that it's just um, the worst um, DVD player uh, software 
out there then they just uh, recommend people to just uninstall these and and play those using um, power dvd and other um, software vlc media players just uh, great um, but today um, because this is the only way to experience the um, the uh, special features for the dvd rom um, we do not really have um, lots of option but to install this interactual player uh, a player that's now kind of a defect that you cannot really um, use it for uh, you know for its uh, fullest potential it's it's its fullest promise and it, it, it's a DVD player software that won't even play a DVD and I don't know why in Windows 10 it won't play and let's go back in time um, a kind of history when I purchased the my previous laptop it was in 2011 but it was uh, with dvd drive and i remember trying to play um those movies with interactual player and the computer it was able to install the pc friendly because um the many of the um features in the dvd rom they split in two um um well, in two, the first one is to be played on the interactual player, and the other is you know can only be enjoyed with the PC friendly. And today, with you know, when I change the uh, the um, the operating system to Windows 8, it won't install the PC friendly. And now with Windows 10, it also won't install PC friendly. I don't know why I tried um, the configurations. You know, I changed the setting and all. It won't. It still won't. Um, install the PC friendly. I even tried to download the PC friendly from um, from the internet. Um, it, it still won't. It won't work. So the only thing that works is um, um, interactual player, and that's all that we have to open the um, the features in the DVD ROM. And I guess I, I I will make more videos like this, but I have to tell you that even though it was very common for um, movie distributors back in the day to you know put DVD ROM features in interactual players and all, but not so many DVDs really have um, lots of special features just like the Matrix. Only um, very few of them that that was you know very special and has like really a lot of um, special features for the DVD ROM most of them they have you know the two disc special editions most of them have special features for the standalone DVD player so you can play the special features like beh behind the scene and all from the um, the DVD player and the television uh, but not um, the DVD ROM many of them also you know consist of games you know computer games PC games and all but but I think that's all about uh, today's um, video about the Matrix DVD-ROM and special features here and there about the interactual player and all. And uh, maybe it's a good introduction for, you know, maybe future videos. Maybe I, uh, I want to make more videos like this. But I, you know, again, I'm going to stop talking now because I think I'm just, I, I talk too much already. Take a look at the time. So um, I, I'm going to say thank you if you're still with me up until this moment. Uh, once again, in the end, I'm going to say uh, thank you, thank you, thank you very much for watching and thank you very much if you continue to like and subscribe this channel. Goodbye.